In the world today, there are 1.8 billion people that profess to believe in Allah, Muhammad being Allah's last prophet, and the Quran being the last dictated revelation from Allah given to man. One of the central claims about the Muslim faith is that Jewish and Christian scriptures, being revelations from God as well, support its claims and even prophesy the coming of the Prophet of Islam. Surah 3 verses 2 to 3 Allah, there is no God worthy of worship, except Him, the ever-living, all-sustaining. He has revealed to you, O Prophet, the book in truth, confirming what came before it as He revealed the Torah and the Gospel. Surah 7 verse 157 Those who follow the Messenger, the prophet who can neither read nor write, whom they will find described in the Torah and the Gospel, which are with them. Surah 18 verse 27 And recite that which hath been revealed unto thee of the scripture of thy Lord. There is none who can change his words, and thou wilt find no refuge beside him. This is something the Quran states multiple times, which show their undeniable significance to the Islamic faith. The Quran claims, Allah revealed the Torah and the Gospel, the Bible, that Muhammad is prophesied in their scriptures, which has yet to be verified, and that there is none who can change Allah's words, which would also apply to the Jewish and Christian scriptures as he revealed them. The foundation of the Bible is undeniable to the Muslim religion, as it is supposed to verify and confirm what it teaches. This, however, should cause one to question how both religions could be so radically different in spite of the lip service the Quran gives concerning the Jewish and Christian scriptures, as there is no place in the Quran that says these texts were corrupted. There are brief summaries of the differences between Islam and Christianity that are expressed not only in videos on this channel, but in the gospel tract made by this ministry, as found on Gum Road in which the link can be found in the description. If the Prophet of Islam was truly following after Jesus, there should not be so many discrepancies between what the Jewish and Christian scriptures say and what the Muslim ones do. And yet it is from the Bible that Muhammad must be judged by. Attempts to produce prophecies about Muhammad by Muslim scholars include the following. In John 14 verse 16, where Jesus says, And I will pray the Father, and he shall give you another comforter, that he may abide with you forever, Muslim scholars say Muhammad is supposed to be the comforter. The problem is that verse 26 says, But the Comforter, which is the Holy Ghost. So, this verse cannot be about Muhammad. Deuteronomy 18 verse 15 says, The Lord thy God will raise up unto thee a prophet from the midst of thee, of thy brethren, like unto me, unto him ye shall hearken. The claim here is that Muhammad was to be that prophet. This prophet, however, will be of thy brethren, which would be of the Jewish people. Muhammad was Arabian and did not come from the Jews, disqualifying him from the prophecy.
Supposedly, John the Baptist was to have prophesied of Muhammad in John 1 verse 15, where it reads, John bear witness of him, and cried, saying, This was he of whom I spake. He that cometh after me is preferred before me, for he was before me. This would be considered blasphemous to Muslims, as John said, For he was before me. Islamic doctrine does not teach that Muhammad pre-existed before he was born. So this verse would have to be about someone else, i.e. Jesus Christ. So, after the few examples that we have gone over of false claims made by Muslim apologists that desperately try to put Muhammad in the Bible, what actual prophecy is there about the Prophet of Islam in the Bible? Here is the answer. In Matthew 24 verse 24, Jesus says, For there shall arise false Christs and false prophets, and shall show great signs and wonders, insomuch that, if it were possible, they shall deceive the very elect. In John 14 verse 23, it says, Jesus answered and said unto him, If a man love me, he will keep my words, and my Father will love him, and we will come unto him and make our abode with him. Either the Quran is wrong, and the Bible stands true alone, or both the Bible and the Quran are false. Both cannot be true. Jesus never prophesied about Muhammad outside of warning against those who would go against his words. The Bible says that Satan hath blinded the minds of them which believe not, lest the light of the glorious gospel of Christ who is the image of God, should shine unto them. Islam is a part of that deception, as it neglects the salvation from sin that was freely offered by our only Savior. Examples of sin are lying, stealing, fornicating, adultery, murder, and all unrighteousness, in which all are guilty. The Bible also says that the wages of sin is death, and all of our righteousnesses are as filthy rags. If you were to die today without accepting the price Jesus Christ paid for you on the cross, declining God's gift to you and relying on your own works to save yourself, the Lord will say to you, I never knew you, depart from me, ye that work iniquity. Yes. God is merciful, but he is not a liar, neither is he unrighteous. God loved you enough to die for you on the cross almost 2,000 years ago so you might have eternal life through him. He did not get rid of that offer 600 years later, neither is today too late to accept that offer. Your record can be made clean by turning to Christ and asking him to save you, believing that he rose again, repenting from your sins, and being born again according to the Holy Bible. There is no other way, so come to know the Lord Jesus today.